back to my channel, Alpha here. Today's video will be about what, guys? Where and wood fired pizza. Yeah, wood fire. Se llama la familia. Familia. It's here in Humble, guys. Oh, excuse me, my nose is itchy. Um, <clears throat> it's here in Humble, Texas, which is again like about 10 minutes away from our house. And yeah, this is uh, the first time of us being here. And we're just waiting on the food right now. So we'll keep y'all posted and wish us luck. Sorry about that. Excuse my hair. Today is just doing its thing. Yeah. If anybody um, knows a stylist or anything, let me know, guys, because this girl's getting ready to watch my glasses to uh, cut her hair off because this is too much to handle. I'm going to cut my hair ball and I'm going to start wearing weeds. Andar como, um, como la, ¿cómo se llama? La tía pelucas, con diferentes pelucas cada. Bueno, si ustedes saben que a mí me encanta, I like to match, I love to match. You know what we're talking about. You can tell what all. Well, when I do the closet tour, um, you're gonna see what I mean. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I might just cut off my hair and call it the day, guys. Okay. Just wanna let y'all know porque miren. It looks so bad. It looks so gorgeous. Stop lying. In this uh, trip to Nashville that I took uh, a couple of days ago. Um, <clears throat> so I picked up the unit. Well, actually, Eva took me. Took me to Laredo. Because we're uh, in Matamoros as that uh, video that, we, that I just posted, which was today. Um, he ended up we ended up driving he drove three and a half hours to get to laredo and then um i picked up the unit and then um he followed me all the way down to houston we got home it took us like seven hours which is usually about um five and a half hours from laredo to houston uh, i don't know why it took us that long it took us like seven and a half hours to get back home i told him to um just drop me off and they you know they could go on home because there's a speed limit on the uh, a certain speed on the trailer then mm -hmm. which is only 65 miles an hour that's it that's the tops so that's as fast as I can um, from the um, Laredo it's um, the speed limits like 75 so 10 more miles an hour makes a difference a lot difference but again you know shit happens it's all right so then, um, so we got to Houston Sunday at 11.30 p.m. at night. And so um, we got there, I was extremely tired. We were extremely tired, if I could speak for them. We were really tired and then um, I ended up waking up at nine in the morning. Psych. And then I went back to sleep. And then I ended up waking up, uh, I think like around three. 30 p.m. to um to get ready and everything and then i ended up just got my stuff ready and then i ended up just uh, taking off like around 4 45 p.m monday <clears throat> after that um obviously i left on myself so i started heading to nashville i took a different uh route route from which i did um last the last time that i went with another uh, unit and which I kind of like it it was way better it, there was many more uh, cities or counties or whatever through the whole way the last time that I went was through um, it was I-10 East and which is through Louisiana through um, Mississippi so Mississippi is just the whole way is just pure trees everywhere left and right plus it was dark <clears throat> there wasn't that much traffic and it was just um it was a whole it was just boring i don't know how the hell how the hell i didn't fall asleep on the way over there but it was just dark and not maybe basically in the whole um way todo el camino i was uh i was practically by myself so um i took a different route i went through 59 north and then um uh, I, I went through Arkansas, Little Rock, Arkansas, and Arkansas is a huge state, it was, but it was 
it had more little cities i guess within it and uh or counties i don't know how the hell they call them but um i even went through this place it was still in texas it was called atlanta texas i was like oh atlanta but then i saw it was texas on my on my thing so it was that and then uh, excuse me after that um i basically drove the whole night and um I drove the whole night and I stopped in Memphis because already I was already falling asleep. Um, I was gonna get to Nashville at 5:30 in the morning, but I was already tired. I was exhausted. It was about that time, so I pulled over at a gas station, which was and now I was almost there, guys. But um, I pulled over at the gas station and it was around maybe I was four in the morning and more like eh, three, four in the morning. And um, bless you. Bless you. And then uh, after that, I pulled over and I started to fall asleep. I was just tired. I, fall, I fell asleep, and then I ended up waking up at 6:51. One, because I took a little blanket and I turned off the unit because it was already running low on gas. So um, I woke up at 6:51 because I was freezing cold. It was really, really cold. And I couldn't go back to sleep, so I was like, you know what? I'm up. It's about that time. So I had two and a half more hours to go, and then um, after that, went into the gas station where I was, uh, where I felt where I parked at, where I fell asleep at. Then um, just got a little break sandwich, a croissant, and um, then. Yeah, use the restroom. Me, vámonos otra vez back in the road. Then after that, um, started heading to Nashville, and then I was in Memphis. No, Benton, Tennessee. Not not Memphis. I, I way past. It was way past uh, Memphis. And like uh, Tennessee, it is. It's a huge state too, and I pass a lot of places in Tennessee. And so. Um, then uh, an hour in, so I started heading to Nashville. An hour in, I was already falling asleep again, and um, oh, I, I couldn't do it. So I pulled over again, and then um, my dispatcher called me. Surprise! I had a DOT exam and uh, for the drug test screening and an alcohol, right? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why. That's the first time that ever happens, especially going to a city that I don't know of, that I don't know, not that I don't know of, but uh, that I don't know, but they, uh, it was a random test from the DOT, and um, before I dropped off the unit, he said to go get the test done, and then um, head on to drop it off to deliver it, so then, that was, I was like, okay, well, I'm on my way back to uh, Nashville, I'm, on, I'm heading back, um, give me about two and a half hours, and I'll be there, BS. <laughs> I ended up just like I'm like I'm rest for a little bit and then I'm start heading over there. And this was like seven in the morning. So after uh, that, I woke up um, around I think it was nine, no eight thirty or nine in the morning. And then um, I started heading to Nashville. Uh, I had to get fuel. I called him and I said, Hey, I need fuel. And then I asked him the reason because I didn't even know about this, but I asked him what was the reason that I was gonna get the uh, the drug test. And he just said it was a random thing. Um, so he's like, but you need to get it done in Nashville before you, um, before anything. Because they, they, the DLT wants, you know, they want you to get it. So I said, well, I'm sorry. But um, I knocked out for like an hour and then, um, huh? I knocked out for like an hour and then I'll just start heading over there, I said. So I did. Got some fuel and then um, I started heading over there. And um, after that, um, I got to Nashville at 11.50 a.m. And um, I went straight to the um, Concentra, the clinic. Mommy, a lot of people were touching that, Mia. Go wash your hands. And then, um, sorry about that, guys. Um, I got to the Concentra. It was a well, I was like maybe 20 minutes. It was a 20 minute thing. I even had to take the whole damn unit. I had to park the, the, the truck there, the trailer. I just boss hogged the whole parking lot. Just parked, 
I got off. I was already pissed off because one, I was I was irritated because I haven't got enough sleep. I was tired. I was trailer lag. You know, jet lag, trailer lag. <laughs> and then uh get it. <laughs> and then um uh, uh I was like, all right, well, let me get it out the way. Um and so as soon as like I, I finished with it, I was already washed my hands to ready to go um, getting my stuff to uh, start heading out to drop off the unit. Um, I get a call from my dispatcher again. He asks, hey, the OT's wondering where you're at. They're wondering if you already got the test done. I'm like, yeah, I just finished. Um, it was already done, did, um, done with, and yeah, I'm about to head out. He's like, okay, cool, that's fine, I'll let him know. So that was done, and then a uh, good thing that where I was dropping off the unit, it was like seven minutes away. So uh, I dropped it off, did the um, inspection with the, uh, good thing the, the girl that receives the receiver, she uh, she was outside already. So I didn't have to go inside to look for the person to come and um, check out the unit and all that blah, 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 all that stuff. And then um, she checked it real quick, five minutes, we're done. She signed all my papers and then as soon as I finished, I called Uber. Everything was so fast, it went so smooth. I, I love this trip, actually. Um, like I said, it was tiring. I was falling asleep, but it was it was really, it went really smooth. And then after that, um, got to the airport. I, I got a call Uber. Uber. Airport, the airport like was like at least 10 minutes away from, uh, I think this is Crooked. It was 10 minutes away from where I dropped off at, and the Uber driver was driving so so crazy it was hectic hectic thing and um he dropped me off and then um and i waited at the airport like two hours one because the last time i left the uh, late we did catch a pain that's when i went, went to colorado with evan which was like a month ago that wasn't gonna happen again so i was there two hours early i got something to eat really quick there and I just sat down, chilled the whole way. I started editing and then um, I was talking to my husband and that's it. Like I said, I love this trip because it went by so quick. It was a smooth, you know, a smooth um, trip thing, you know, like um, it went smooth. It went smooth, everything. Timing was great. Everything was, it was smooth. And so, um, yeah, guys, that was my trip to Tennessee. This is my second trip to Tennessee to the same place. But the first time, it didn't go as planned. I was supposed to vlog about it, but I don't like to vlog now when my emotions are all over the place because that's just not my thing. Because maybe I'm, I might say some things that are, uh, they don't come out the way they're supposed to because I'm already PO'd about it. So I was just like, mm, Rudy, let it go. But the, the first time that I went to Nashville, Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. I got a. Traes frío, verdad? Para que te traigas un suéter para la otra. I got a unit. They call the polleras. Poll yeah, polleras. Porque the whole time you're just going like you're just jumping up and down like you're bouncing all over the place. Yeah, like right. every little freaking bump you feel that crap. You just like this is the whole. Imagine going like this for how many hours? Five, and this is when I, I went, I left from Laredo hours. to Nashville. No, actually, no, I lied to you. I, I stopped in Houston again. But just imagine from Laredo to Houston, any little bump, you were just bouncing up and down the whole, the whole time. I just couldn't. I can't. I can't. And I'm never, never again because it calls for something to happen. To it's me, fun. Which is personal. But um, with that being said, that was a horrible trip. Never, never driving that unit again. I even told the dispatcher, "Hey, if you have one of those, do not put me in them. Cancel my, uh, my invoice or whatever. That, that I'm not gonna do it." So, um, but yeah, guys, this second time that I went, I already knew how the uh, trip was. The roads were, <clears throat> it came out perfect. I loved it. Um, I had a sleeper on the trailer, so that worked perfect. I didn't have to pay for any hotels or anything. But yeah, but mommy can't stop. With that being said, guys, that was my uh, trip to Nashville. And so, um, good thing, one thing that the uh, lady did, did my facial, Erika that did my facial today, did remind me, guys, if you have a CDL, class B, 
Um, and if you want more information about this job, please email me and then uh, I'll refer you to the company. It's easy money. I don't recommend it if you have any small kids, but if you're willing to make a good amount of money in less than three days, then that's definitely, uh, you know, especially with uh, this pandemic and a lot of job losses, this is definitely uh, a good way to make money. If you're, you're willing to sacrifice three days out of, out of the week, it's perfect for you. Um, if you want any more information, guys, my email is listed down below again, and let me know, and I'm, I'll be happy to, you know, recommend you to the company. And um, with that being said, I hope y'all like this video. Please share, comment, like, and subscribe. And if y'all want any other videos, uh, comment down below. All right. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's totally it feels crunchy. We're still waiting for the cannoli. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is made off scratch. Ooh. On wood Ooh. fire. Another page. It's called what, baby? It's a chicken. Parmesana? Yeah. Even though it's a little bit of 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 a little bit Huh? Look, I see ate all of that. Wow. All of that. And all of that over there. Y toda la falta de este. So I have this too. Okay. What do you think about the food? Oh, it was good. I like that. You ate a whole piece of huh? The whole thing over there? Yes. Yeah. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, you know? That's that. No, baby, you're just fluffy. You're... I'm not fluffy, puppy. <laughs> you're full of love. I'm a pebble. Because you know that water Guys, um, I'm a pebble. Mommy, the camera's over here. I'm a pebble. Mommy calls me a pebble, you're and I love it. Call me a pebble. Not pebble anymore. You're pebble. You're a baby, not your big old rock. Just kidding, baby. You're a pebble. Oh, pebble. Anyways, guys, back to what I was saying. Just wasting my minutes here. Um, yeah, I basically, ever ate the whole thing. So, who's is that? I've been telling you, oh. my. I don't like to say my plans. I will. I will love to go to uh, <clears throat> the first place that. I'm drawn to this Italy, the Vatican. And I've seen, this is an Italian place, of course, it's in a big city, yeah. The name says it all. And uno de los de los italianos es este cannoli. 
Uy, yo tengo bastante que le digo a Eve que quiero probar uno y cada vez que vamos a un lugar se me va el avión. Pero miren, guys, that's a cannoli right there. Wow. We're gonna taste it and we're gonna give you the review on it. How don't you like the food though? It's good. I like it. With this, this, this drag, and, uh, this was good too, the drag and boy. We're going to be for tomorrow. Yeah, good thing I don't got to make any and, uh, lunch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, it's really recommended. Honestly, it's a good, good pizza. It was grande la que hagamos. Era de hecho en wood fire. Yeah, yeah it was good. It was hand and, and everything. Hand and thank you to the management, the uh, one of the workers here. Uh, They yep. let me uh, film the uh, yeah. process of the making of the pizza. So that was really good. I know. Um, She's so kind. That was really nice of her. Uh, give her props if you ever see this video one day. Hello and thank you very much. You were so polite, ma'am. But, yeah, But on that note, we're about to taste okay. the cannoli. And the cannoli. Wait, let's say happy birthday first. But it's not my birthday today. Yeah, but who cares? It's, it's a early That's birthday. Spirit. That's the spirit. Who cares? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Three days early. Sing, Evan. Happy birthday, mommy. Mommy, Pebble. Love you so much. Barack. Happy birthday to you. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye, Finley. Okay, we're going to split it in threes, guys. I'm going to feed all three. All three. Well, I just want a little tape. Oh shit, it's hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Ugh, I'm kidding it. Well, it's always a first, Evan. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. It's always a first time to try things. If you don't try things, you're never going to live your life. Oh. <laughs> Saying you tasted something and you try something. It tastes good. <coughs> oh man, it's going to be hard. Got it, mommy? All right, let's taste it, guys. The taste test. Uh, cannoli. I want to... Oh, that's good. It's very crunchy. It's very good. It's very good. I look weird because I have Spongebob teeth. I'm trying to lose weight, guys. That's um, enough for mama. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna eat the middle because I can't eat that much hard thing because Dancer said I put it for my dentadura. Mm. Well, definitely worth it, guys. Okay, clan, this is a view of the place. It's not, it's not as big, but it's really nice. We sat in this booth. So we got plenty of space. Sorry, mommy. You're the child that's eating. But that's where they make, um, uh, we're gonna include a video where they show that they're prepping the pizza and everything. They're making it right in front of you. And it has a sign that it says, watch, watch, watch me. So basically watch them um, make the pizza. I definitely like it. We're definitely coming back. I like the taste of the pizza. That's really good taste. location is in Elmo's called La Familia Wood Fire Pizzeria. Hey clan, I yes, hope y'all liked the video. Please share, comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.